Hey, I'm Steve from ALO. I'm Zach. Dan. Dave. And you're watching Swept Away TV. All right, guys, what's up? I'm Amanda, and I'm here with the guys of ALO, the Animal Liberation Orchestra. Did I get it right? Yes! <laughs> And we're here at Meister Park hanging out backstage. How are you guys feeling today? Great. Very good. good. And if you didn't know, these guys are the opening band, one of the opening bands for Jack Johnson on his In Between Dreams tour. And uh, how's that been going so far? It's, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah? We've been traveling in a, in a big bus with the other opening band. Okay. Any yeah. funny tour stories? God, there's lots. I have a tape of a, a record. There's been a lot of like funny collaborations and people writing songs together and lots of jamming in the back lounge. Now you guys are about to release a new album, or has it already been released? Well, it's about to be re-released. Re-released. So it was already released. It was a kind of independent. We released it ourselves. Okay. okay. And, but now it's about to be released on Brushfire Records. Which is Jack Johnson's label. Awesome. You guys have been friends for quite a while now, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so he was just like, all right, I'm going to bring you on tour? Or? Well, it was, yeah, it was kind of like that. I think he always wanted to, you know. But I'm also, I'm also playing in his band, so it works out well. Like I think he has, you know, Dan sitting on guitar, so he kind of like can use us all in different capacities. <laughs> so I think it's I think it's good for both of us. Really. We also had him on our on yeah, our record. On our yeah, too. girl, I want to lay you down. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that. I think that's one of my favorites. I, I like it a lot. It's, it's a favorite. <laughs> that's a favorite. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so you guys do that song in in the performance? Yeah, no, we'll do it tonight. Ooh. So is this like when Jack Johnson comes out, all the girls go crazy? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what happens. Yeah. There's a big sure. difference when he comes out. Oh, yeah? <laughs> So you guys met when uh, you were in a band in college, University of Santa Barbara, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, are you guys all from California? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And uh, how'd you guys meet? Was it like dorm room buddies or? Well, the three of us met in our hometown. We all grew up together. We met Dave in Santa Barbara, just like in the college town. He had a band. We used to see his band. You guys played Bonnaroo this year, yeah. and do you like playing big music festivals like that? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. A lot, yeah, it's cool. How I, many? Did you only get to play once, or I've never been to Bonnaroo, so maybe you want to explain it a little we, bit? We played once, and the way it, the way it works is you have, I don't know, anywhere from eighty to ninety thousand people there. You've got like three tents, two stages, and bands going the whole time from morning to the wee hours of the morning again. There's maybe like a couple hours where the music stops. You know, we played our set on the Thursday night, and I just, it's such a cool thing to do those festivals because not only do you get to play for all these new people, you know, who might be coming for other bands, but there's this whole, like, kind of source of inspiration, you know, by being able to check out all these bands you may have been hearing about all the time and everything. And that's actually, like, I kind of like, personally, like, to play later on in the festivals because it's really fun to watch the bands for a little while and kind of get all set for them. Yeah. When you, when you guys were described to me for the first time, someone used the word jam band. Sure. And what exactly is a jam band, and why are you in that category? Who wants to tackle that one? That's a good question. <laughs> well, I think a jam band could be... Well, I guess when I think of that category, there's a lot of different types of musical groups in that category. When I think of a jam band, to me that means like a rock group with a lot of like improvisation and jamming, you know, that just like stretches out and improvises. So, and we do that too. So, 
I guess that's why we're in that category. Yeah. It's definitely like, uh, you know, we, de we definitely do a lot of jam band style festivals, Bonnaroo being one of them, you know, where there's a lot of, a lot of di bands, like all different styles, you know, from like hip hop to electronica to salsa. But yeah, the common thing seems to be that everybody can stretch out, you know, like capability wise and like the, and there's also like a spirit within like the fans who come to that that like that's a pretty cool exciting wonderful thing you know and so people encourage it like we're always you know we're always like because we write a lot of songs you know we definitely have like a pop audience and we're always but we have tendencies that sometimes we just want to jam out you know just like well, it's like you play, you go, you know, you get, you get hired to play a house party or something, and or you just decide to play a house party and go there, and you have some songs that you play, but half the, the other half the time you're just kind of like making stuff up and keeping the party going. And I mean that we do that kind of jamming, like dance oriented jamming, and um, we also try, you know, we jam in ambient ways sometimes. And yeah, it's something. It's just really cool to like get out of the mindset of like a song has to be three minutes. You know, because there's so much more to music than just like a three-minute attention span. But I think our society is very set up in like you know, 30-second commercials, half-hour sitcoms, and three-minute pop songs. You know, so I think we definitely are part of our challenge is kind of breaking that mold. Alright guys, thank you so much for letting us come here and talk to you and enjoy the rest of your time here in Florida and uh, good luck with everything. Yeah, thanks thank for having you. us. Yeah.